to Don Vendor versus Dimwit. And we're off. Both of these players reached level 17 in qualifiers. This month has been insane in terms of qualifier quality. Dimwit's got wow. a nice little horizontal drop combo right there to keep his board nice and clean. Yeah, but he's facing right now a lot of red on the top line at this point. That's basically what's been left at this point for him. Done with a little bit more of a variety, but he needs to talk in order to get to his blue viruses at this point. Can't believe I'm saying this, but he needs some hot dogs. Yeah, where's the hot dogs that Frank had earlier? <laughs> exactly. Come on. Exactly. This is the time, Dr. Mario. Not not before, but now. Come on, just get get the grip on your colors. Yeah, but Don's doing a really nice job with his board thus far and is maintaining a seven virus lead over Dimwit. Dimwit, once again, with not a lot of uh, yellow on the top line, is uh, still having to deal with lack of variety on his top line, but really mostly because of how the board was set up, not by his own um, moves on the on, on, on this level. I get this I got the sense that Don was really going for trying to horizontal those yellows in the middle of his board in columns one and two, and now he's out at one twenty nine. Sub one thirty coming out of this level is really, really good. Definitely, as uh, Dimwit is going to go horizontal at this point, he just needs a couple more reds and he should be out as well from level 8 at a 144. 144, also a good time. A couple of double blues to start him off. Looks like he's going to try to horizontal that yellow and looks, looks like he's going to do it and drop everything down. Oh, this is going to be a tasty combo right here. I just waiting for the right build to bring it down. Nice. There we go. Meanwhile, Don Venuer's shooting off a quad drop combo of his own. And it's pretty much a dead heat right now. Both players just flying through this level nine so far. Yeah, Don with a little bit of an advantage at this point, keeping keeping them with uh, just the... Uh, Having to play uh, really There's precisely, and he's Dimwit been needs. doing it very nice. Let's see if Dimwood uses this one to build a bridge. Yep, he's gonna do. Oh, he's gonna cut down the bridge a little early. I was thinking yeah. maybe he would be using that bridge to cut down those reds horizontally. Maybe, maybe he'll do it. We'll see. Yeah, what I he... think. I, yeah. I think he's gonna go for it, but since he has a lot of red on other places, he wanted to open up that left side to attack that. This is true. There, there's a still quite there's still a decent amount of red left on his board. Looks like he's gonna go ahead and build the bridge now. Maybe even go for a fat log here. And anything that's not yeah. And if he and if he didn't get the red blue, then he'd be able to pile it on top of the red virus there. So good plan. Yeah, he had just the right time. Unfortunately, the doctor just rewards him as Don is already on level 10, but Dim went right behind him. Yep. It is a close game thus far. There's not much use for blue for Don right now. I'm going to have to say it again. He needs hot dogs. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that'd be fortunate for him. As uh, Dimwit with some interesting <laughs> setups there with the yellows. A uh, bit of uh, dangerous stuff there, but he knew what he was doing to bring in all of that down and getting quite a few viruses and actually getting the advantage at this point. Dimwit making some good quick plays. Probably going to horizontal those reds. Yep. But he needs to open up some blue because there's really not much access for it. And to whatever little access he has, it's very specific uh, peel wise. Tucks the red in, gonna pro probably deal with those horizontally because he's getting, he's probably getting tired of waiting for this. But then the, he finally gets the cross clear that he's been looking for. And this is gonna be a nice little way to build a bridge. So with a so a red blue would be great for him, and he has he, he has other things to clear in the meantime. And there's the red blue, but 
he got he's got to use that to clear up some garbage on the left side of his board. I don't think he meant to put that there, but misdrops breed misdrops, and you you can see he's kind of flipping his pieces around a few extra times, just just trying to get reoriented. I mean, sometimes you want to uh, figure out something that doesn't uh, destroy everything else that you're trying to build up in your in your board, and uh, yeah, that's gonna bring yeah. some some issues. But <clears> the <throat> important part is knowing how to quickly get out of them. As Dimwit is out at the five twenty five, uh, now Don is the one behind, but not by much at the five thirty two. This one's another close one. Dimwit's gonna go ahead and take the horizontal. Not with not with the perfect piece, but with a piece. And sometimes you can't let perfect be the enemy of the good. As in, some you're not always going to get the perfect piece. And sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes it's best for you to settle rather than wait for another five to ten pills in case RNG just decides that it's not your day. Oh yeah, and with this game with the RNG that is just completely broken, you just don't want to wait for whatever perfect might mean. Also, Puzzle Speedrun, thank you for the raid, by the way. Welcome welcome to the Dr. Mario Monthly. You are watching our last round two matchup of the day, which is Don Venuer versus Dimwit. Yeah, <laughs> level... think, thank you for, for coming around. And uh, I mean, uh, we're going to have more stuff uh, tomorrow, uh, so we're going to be bringing you the last, uh, four, the last three matches of, of the tournament. But uh, thanks for, for stopping by. Definitely. So for, for those of you who just entered the channel who might be unfamiliar with the tournament format, this on round two of the tournament of the monthly tournament, the level block you have to go through is level eight through level eleven. And base and it's a basic speed run race. The first one to clear all their viruses wins, and the first to win two matches is the victor. Yep, and uh, it, it's different blocks regarding which, uh, yeah, which part of the tournament we're playing. So th that that way, it, it's it's uh, a bit uh, different every time. As both of our players very close to finishing this level eleven and uh, letting us know he's not win. getting the reds he needs, but now he only needs one more, and he is out at a seven twenty eight, and Dimwood is not going to make it in time. He is just not getting the reds he needs. Yeah, the RNG definitely not helping them with there. And it's going to be 1-0 for Dom Veneers. So, very nice match. Uh, they they were very close uh, at the end of level 10 there. And, uh, yeah, it was level 11 that uh, gave it to Dom for this, uh, for this first uh, game. Dom and we're topping out and getting reset and ready. All righty, mm. both four players ready. And we have the countdown. Three, two, one, and peels. Let's go. Game two in a best of three. Don Venuer holds a one nothing advantage over the 2020 champion, Dimwit. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to, to think about that, how the scene has just... Uh, gotten so much closer than it was before and now the, the yeah. champion is the yeah he's struggling a little bit but uh, that's what happens when uh, all of the players start getting better and better this is the pill that Dimwit needs to set off his horizontal that is exactly what he was waiting for a lot of blue and red on his top line he doesn't have a whole lot to do with yellow right now but that double blue tucked into column eight will be a huge help and this will perfectly set up a quick cross clear and get nailed the horizontal. But now Dimwit needs to think about prioritizing reds because there's quite a bit of it left on his board. On the other hand, Don had just been getting some nice setups, uh, not getting the perfect pills to move along his level, but uh, he's uh, regardless doing good stuff about it. I think that the blue the red on the top is uh, a misplay there. Uh, it's not a big yeah, problem yeah. because the red can be can be played, but still. Yeah, that that red in column two is just kind of staring. 
that nice little horizontal will quickly clean up the bottom of his board. And that stack of blue and red fragments in columns one and three can potentially serve as a bridge to clear his red from underneath. Looks like that's what he's going to do. Also, good correction there with that blue Both yellow. Both players need some reds, and Don, or not Don, Dimwood gets the double red at the exact right time, and Don and Dimwood pretty much out at this of this level at the exact same time. Yep, very neck and neck as uh, we get into level nine. Uh, Don has a lot of red and yellow on the top line, basically. That's uh, that's what he's tearing down the barrels. So once again, where's them hot dogs? Yep. Well, this is this is gonna give him a chance to do some setups on the le on the left hand side of his board, but the fact remains that he ultimately needs a red to be able to trigger all that. <clears throat> and looks like this is gonna be the pill that triggers it. Yeah, however, he had to just eat some garbage there on the left side. That blue yellow, uh, or yellow blue in columns two and three. Uh, he really had nothing to do with it, with that pill and therefore just had to put it somewhere. Yeah, and as he had to play the waiting game, Dimwit has taken a dozen virus lead on him. At this point, just Dimwit uh, basically on the on the last uh, the four rows of his of his board, and everything is pretty nicely set up for everything. Love that to come drop down combo. Boom. <laughs> Very nice, very nice work there by Dimwit. Uh, going for the horizontal on that right side, uh, almost no drop time, and on the left, uh, he's going to get the blues and be out at 310. Excellent, excellent time by Dimwit. He's taken a pretty good-sized lead at this point. I'm not going to say commanding lead because no lead is safe. We've learned that the hard way. No lead is safe in this game anymore. That's right. Don has a pretty scattered board to deal with right now, but it looks like he's going to go with the big horizontal to take out the rest of his blue viruses. Yeah, essentially those blues have no wrath uh, to to work that right side and yellow uh, as well. Just uh, it, it, it was nice to take all of that out because uh, a misplay there could have meant to... Uh, Big trouble for Don. He's gonna be out at a three fifty eight, but Dim went already uh, getting close to half uh, half level ten. And Dim went with this is gonna be a nice quick little drop into an L clear. That's very very nice play by Dim went. And more than that, Dim went didn't uh, 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 bat an eye at just taking some garbage in column five and just uh, keep moving his board. Then we're going to flip that down and take that horizontal, perhaps set up a T-clear here. Yep, he's going to do just that. Just trying to be efficient about that color that you need the most. That's uh, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Dimwit needs more blue than anything else right now, but he's pretty much free and clear, and he's going to be out of this level soon, and he's going to be able to do it with a drop combo and get that horizontal in less than five minutes. This oh. is going to be a great time if he keeps it up. Yeah, and in the meantime, Don with a bit of a misplay there on column two, that red yellow in col in row five, just not what you want to see. He, I think, couldn't flip it all the way through, and now he had to play around that. But that's still going to be an issue because he wanted to go um, uh, horizontal with those reds, and unfortunately now that's well, he he still can manage to make that the plan, but it's it's leaving some traces here and there. Don really doesn't want to clear that virus in column A just yet because he doesn't want to drop that blue fragment and lose his horizontal play. I mean, that required a lot of um, just patience to not break things uh, in, in the wrong way. It looks like he's going to wait for some reds to clear out those red pill fragments horizontally, and from there he can just drop a drop a yellow fragment in and get out of 10. Yeah, he's not looking too happy about that. He manages to be out of level 10, but then with already at the 19 bars left, which, uh, yeah, probably is uh, gonna, gonna bring us into a decider for this, uh, for this last match of uh, Saturday. That's what it looks like thus far. Then what has got a really clean board going on. And this... 
we might be looking at a subs. I, oh, I don't. I don't want to say it. I shouldn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> let, let's let things play, and then we can call things out. To, we don't want to be the ones uh, responsible okay. for what happened. I, I, I like this play, de sandwiching the the yellows. Just one yellow fragment away. Okay. We avoided the commentator's curse and got a sub seven. All right. That's going to be a, a hot time for sure. And uh, 647 is going to place him in ninth place. So there you go. Uh, and that's uh, all time, not just uh, not just this year, but uh, throughout the, the two years that we've been holding this event. That's the ninth best time for this block. So that's that's some some good play by them with their... Absolutely. Dimly I mean, is no Dunk, joke. Dunk could be uh, a bit uh, angry about what happened there in, in level 10, but uh, against that time, uh, A, you gotta first do uh, that kind of very aggressive gameplay, and two, uh, it was a great time, which who knows, maybe there was no, no way to, to compete with. We are going to a decider for our final match of the day. <clears throat> to figure out who's going to meet Frank in the semifinals. Right, and we have the countdown. Three, two, one, and Peels. Let's go. Interesting play selection there from Don Manure to start out with that, with that cluster of blues in the middle of his board. Gives him a lot of options to play with. And he didn't try to be too cute with it, so that's that, that's smart of him. Yeah, you could see there that he was taking his time to figure out if it was possible to do something fancier, but that was a good a good moment where you don't want to go too crazy and just uh, just play cleanly. Yeah, paralysis by analysis. You want to avoid that as much as you can, because sometimes sometimes hesitation is your is your biggest opponent in the, in these games. But that does meant that uh, Dimwit's taking a little bit of an advantage, though he has a lot of yellow left in his future at this point. Yep. But he's getting a double yellow here oh. and a double yellow there, and <laughs> here a yellow, there a yellow, everywhere a yellow, yellow. Oh, yeah. That's just... Oh, oh when look you at went that. Double red. <laughs> oh, just <laughs> wonderful timing on that double red. I Out mean, that's... Well. Holy I smokes. Want to, but... But Don Venera to one eighteen. Both of these times just crazy good. Jeez, it's like you you look you look over at your opponent when they're putting up these times, and it's just like, what can I do? I mean, I'm sure that both of them are thinking the same. Just uh, you you think, oh yeah, this is a great time, and then you see over, and the exact same thing happening on the other screen. Just wild. Nice quick horizontal clear from Don Venera there. Trying to find a way to get through this board quickly and cleanly. This right here is going to open up a potential horizontal play. And it looks and like that's what he's going to do. Yep. If he gets another blue red, he could potentially get a make it into a drop cross. I like that play right there because that lit. Let's see what he decides to do with this one. Oh, okay, this is perfect. Oh, right very here. nice. Perfectly set up. Just, just waiting the right, the right amount of time there by Don. Just uh, the very clean level nine so far. But then with nothing <laughs> to be uh, to to talk about either. It's just brilliant gameplay as well. It's, it's just a little bit too much on the edges. Don needs a lot of blue right now, but both players are pretty much even in virus count right now. And don't prioritize in the blue. He realizes that the red, uh, there's just that one virus left. Then what's out at about three minutes, and it looks like Don's going to do a quick cross to minimize drop time on the blue clear. He's out about about 3.09. And once again, both of them put in great times, and I think that Don has uh, looked over and realized that, yeah, this is going to be one of those games that uh, can oh, be decided nice in just cross time. clear by Don wow. right there. Loved it.
got rid of all the garbage in the middle of his board. Just beautiful. Oh yeah, very nice. And uh, he needs to open up some some blue, but. Uh... Other than that, I mean, the, so far it's been a great 10 for Dong with the, all of these setups. Then with, with a little bit of a of a void there on the left side and uh, not a lot of yellow until now. Yeah, Don was having like a triple spire situation for a moment there, but it looks like he's starting to cut everything down. I mean, one second it looks like the the board might not be advantageous for our players, and then the next second they do not figure out a way to just clear things and make it much much more playable. Yes, both players just showing a great ability to get rid of their garbage in a hurry. This this quick little this nice little horizontal play, and this one right here is going to keep Don's board nice and squeaky clean. Yeah, just that left side that uh, has to, uh, that that with the column one. Uh, but other than that, then that's just uh, such a nice board for Don. Then with uh, once again, need to open up some yellow. Manages to do so on that right side. But right now, the name of the game is blue and red. Yeah, so f Don has managed to take about a six virus lead at this point. But uh, once again, no lead is safe. We just don't know what's going to happen from here on out. Don needs breads, and he needs them yesterday. And now, Tim Witt, I think, would like to see blue before he sees red to perhaps pair up those two last viruses on row one, but uh, it seems like the Doctor's plans are not those, so he's just going to do with what he has as Don is out at the 518. This endgame is going to be key for Tim Witt because right now he's about six viruses behind, and he needs a good, clean end game here, and it looks like he's pretty much got it. Yeah, Don he's is gonna. gonna... He's gonna be out at 534. And in the meantime, Don has been setting up some combos and bringing them down. So he's making quick work of this level 11 at this point. A lot of blue on the right, on the left side, however. Yeah, but this is gonna take out four blue viruses right, right away. Yeah, it, it 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 ended up not being too much of a problem. Oh, if he got, had gotten another blue oh, or red, like that that's play right. I like that play right there. Set up the cross clear with the reds and quickly get a drop combo. Yeah, I've managed to find another way to make that uh, that drop happen and uh, just to take out uh, things uh, even more efficiently. Tim with uh, he's starting to slope down his board and creating a bit of a gap there going diagonally. It looks like he's he's trying to set up some horizontal some horizontal plays in his future. It he just needs a handful of triggers to get it in. Oh, I thought that would be one of those triggers. Perhaps he's trying to figure out how to not make too much of a mess uh, lowering his board. But uh, yeah, I think he has. To I think he realizes that. that he has to drop those yellow fragments down, so he's just going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. It's it's sometimes difficult to uh, to to get into an idea of yeah that has to come oh, down that way. He sees the double red coming. That's going to get him a quick cross, and that's going to put him within five viruses of Don right now. But Don is basically all set up at this point. He just needs one blue and one red, and, and he's going to get gonna him. Yeah, it's seven fifteen. Don takes the match from Dimwit. Two games to one, and advances to the semifinals to face Frank. All right, so there you go. Don is gonna be able to continue here. Uh, Dim Wade unfortunately has to, uh, yeah, finish this uh, this game, but he's not gonna be able to make it. I just love that even after it's over, Dimwit's just still just sitting up these awesome clever combos. Seven forty four for Dimwit. All right, GG's to both four players. And